Hello, I'm Dr. Blasen Mbabe Oyedemi, a research fellow and a lecturer affiliated with Michael O'Brien University of Agriculture in Nigeria and Trent University of Nottingham in the UK. And my passion is leading research in the area of antimicrobial resistance and drug discovery. It's become a reality, the looming problem of ineffective antibiotics due to multi-drug resistant bacteria. And Africa is the greatest hit, second to China. By 2050, we might be recording four to 15 million deaths every year. And that means one person dies every three minutes. And Africa will definitely have drastic effects in this problem, such as countless deaths, poverty, impoverishment and reduced productivity. While we are slow in trying to discover new drugs, the smart box are busy dividing, you know, in millions every 20 minutes, such as MRSA, E. coli, Pseudomonas, and the rest of them. So my work therefore focuses on discovering and developing promising antibacterial drugs, such like we've had in the past Medicinal plants that have yielded great drugs such as aspirin, artemisinin, or even quinine. So an example of a plant-based compound from our research in the lab is capsaicin. And capsaicin has demonstrated broad-spectrum antimicrobial resistant mechanisms such as anti-staphylococcus, anti-plasmid, and anti potentials. So developing this area of drug development is very crucial in Africa because the bugs are getting smarter and the antibodies are getting less effective. Traditionally, African nations have had to outsource the development of new drugs and bringing them into markets. We are only but raw suppliers of raw materials and never manufacturers. But I'll tell you that this is really changing for three big reasons. First, the scientific capacity and the expertise is greatly enlarging in Africa, even though it's not all home yet. Secondly, the market pipeline is empty. In 2019, about 52 antibodies were developed or on, they were under development and 10 of them were biologicals, but they never made it to the market yet. The third reason is that the big pharma landscape is changing rapidly. It's not as profitable to develop short-term drugs like antibiotics compared to long-term lifestyle drugs for, say, cancer or diabetes. And also, companies tend to make these decisions based on the data that is gathered on such prevalences. But we know that in Africa, there is scarcity of data in antimicrobial resistance surveillance in the CDC website. So if Africa continues to be consumers, Rather than producers, many potential solutions will never get the investment that they needed to make it out of the lab, let alone it becoming in an affordable price. So we really require a new paradigm to be able to beat African smart box. And such a promising plant-based compounds like capsaicin, which I've mentioned earlier, is commonly found in our chili pepper. For instance, the Nigerian chili pepper, which is found in my mother's homemade concussion. And this points to the fact that they possess numerous chemical heats that can be harnessed for further, um, further development. That does not mean that if you consume a lot of chili pepper, you're going to get well. But what it does point out is the untapped medicinal capacities from our natural plant remedies. And this creates a very huge African biopharmaceutical industry and also enables us to develop drugs that are cheaper, affordable, and accessible. Instead of waiting for a cheaper generic drug to come downstream to beat the African smart box. The global market for natural medicine products and drug market, you know, is increasing and the interest is growing rapidly up to the point of 18.2% in up to 2024. And this is a very huge market for the African medicinal plant products. Plants continue to remain super chemists and they are used by over 80% of the African population. And they continue to live and even outlive humans and mammals. And they have the competitive advantage over smart drugs. So, any new drug needs this understanding forged in a thousand, tire, in a thousand fires of traditional medicine to be effective and to stay ahead of the smart box. So let us start 
into the potentials of our very own natural resource, the medicinal plant, and start to develop them into affordable, cheap, and accessible drugs to fight antimicrobial resistance in Africa. Thank you.